so rest in Him and let Him work on your behalf. One, remembering why we must remember. Day two, why be strong and courageous, Simeon tribe. The Israelites in day of old were a lot like me. They acknowledged God, but they often let their hearts grow hard. They had been miraculously rescued from slavery in Egypt, yet their trust in God quickly failed. They reached the edge of the promised land, but they were afraid to go in. They were scared of the giants in the land, they thought they might be safer on the outside looking in than on the inside gathering all that God had promised them. Only Joshua and his buddy Caleb believed. So the Israelites were punished with a season of wandering. They wandered for 40 years. They needed cleansing. They needed preparation. So that is what God orchestrated on their behalf. In fact, they wandered until the entire unbelieving generation had died off. Caleb and Joshua alone were prepared to lead the next generation into the promised land. When the 40 years were complete, the time had come. I bet God was excited, just like I am when my kids opened their presents on Christmas morning. And he had picked just the right person to lead them into the promised land. Joshua wasn't perfect but he had humility of heart. Joshua is a person of whom I can relate. He outwardly appeared strong and courageous, yet inwardly, he must have dealt with the fear and insecurity, confusion and discouragement. In the first chapter of the book of Joshua, we see that God told Joshua three different times to be strong and courageous. Three different times God reminded Joshua that he would be with him and that he would never leave him or forsake him. And that's just in the first chapter. Why did God have to tell him to be strong and courageous so many times? I think it's because Joshua was an ordinary man who was called to an extraordinary job by his extraordinary God. Because he was ordinary, just like you and me, he waxed and waned between great seasons of faith, courage and confidence and fear, doubt and discouragement. When he was tempted toward fear and doubt, Joshua knew where to go for help. He continued his faithful obedience to God, listening for instruction and courageously following what God said. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to press on despite fear. And Joshua knew that true courage comes from the source of all good things, God. Ask God to give you courage today. <laughs> 